Hello, welcome back to Shindy Games. Today we're playing uh Winkle Winkle Teach Wink Winkle uh, Winkelch Winkle Today we're playing Farm Shop Game. It's early access, it's an indie game. So I want to jump in. And it basically you run a farm shop, which apparently includes swords, because uh, what farm doesn't grow swords? And we're gonna select a new shop and see what this game has to offer. Dear daughter, this property has been in the family for generations, and now it is yours. It would make us proud if you could do what we could not, and that is to clear our family name of debt and return the Coop Man, Co-op co Man? The Co-op Man name to its former glory. Oh, this is the Co-op Shop Origins. The idea is simple. Sell things for more than you bought them. Supply and demand. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then expand and decorate to appeal to more customers. Good luck, Max Co-op Man. Is this shop game or is this RuneScape? It's kind of got that RuneScape-y vibe, but slightly better graphics. Bye. Buy a counter. Sure. So the first thing you need in a shop is a counter. Boom. I like it. So they can come in, they can walk around the shop, it's all big and everything. And they come over to the corner to pay for stuff. Table for displaying items. We're going to need that. Decorations locked. Most of these things are still locked. So we need to get to a table first. Now we have tables. We need to buy a table. And we need to put it down. So let's put um, some tables. Let's, let's do a couple of tables in the middle. For maximum viewage. Well, what do people need? So someone starting out as an adventurer. What are they likely to need? Well, they're going to need bread for sure. So we'll put bread there. Excellent. Now place two tables yourself. And another one. And we'll put wood on one of them because wood's useful. And a tunic. But we also want one for hammers as well. So let's just make another table. Okay. Then we'll just slot this one here. Boom. Hammers. Hammer time. Okay, so the shop's looking pretty good so far. We've got a desk. Four tables with all of my goods on display. It looks very messy, but that's fine. Open shop. Here we go. Okay, the grand opening. And we've already got... Uh, Al uh, mm -hmm, Ali. Ali's come to buy something from the shop. What are you going to buy, Ali? He likes wood. He wants some wood. Oh, he's bought the hammers. He's bought everything. He's cleaned us out. Low on stock. Buy items from other traders. So this guy's got items. Ah, here we go. Right, so... You can buy items from traders that come into your shop and they will sell you stuff based on certain margins. So we can buy wood and that's 17% less than we sell it. So we want to stock up on this stuff. Okay, we'll buy four wood. And we'll put some more wood over here. Restock these uh, items. Put a hammer down. Whoa. Looks like wood's a popular one. Are we making serious cash here? Whoa, I've got 157 silver coins at the end of the first day. So do you know what? I think it's time to re-evaluate how we're doing this shop. We'll take all the wood and just put down loads more tables now. And in fact, let's just get as many tables down as we possibly can to maximize our profits. There we go. Boom, we've got loads of tables now. Shop appeal increased, and the shop will now attract more customers. Okay, that's good. Oh, we've got objectives as well. Expand by two tiles with the shop builder, and place a pallet to increase your stock limit. Okay, let's do that. So tab, shop builder. So we're going to expand this way. By three tiles. Ooh, not got much money left. And place a pallet to increase your stock limit. Yeah, that's good to me. Don't have enough silver. Okay. Have we got enough for that? No. Okay, we don't have enough money, so we're going to have to wait until next round. Okay, so another day has ended, but we can probably afford to expand the shop a little bit now. So let's do that. Tab. Shop builder. And we're going to go out this way. By two bricks, they want us to do it by. So we'll do that. Yep. Good to me. Now, place a pallet to increase my stock limit. So we're going to have a stock thing back here. So I need to unlock a pallet. 20. A tailoring station as well. That might be cool. 
right, here we go. A new pallet. That's going to let me buy more stock, I suppose. So I want to put the stock... I'm going to put this next to the... Um, next to the counter. Boom. What else can I buy? So I could unlock some decoration, actually. That might be good. A basket. Nice. And a tulip bouquet. Let's put down some tulips. Sounds good to me. And we'll put them in the back over here. Oh, look at that appeal. Okay, and let's start the next day of shopping because I haven't got any cash now. So if nobody comes in looking for wood, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Got some hammers, though. Sweet. You want some bread, though. You gonna sell me some bread, my friend? Yes, perfect. Two bread. And we can afford... Yeah, what else can we afford? One bread, maybe? One bread and one tunic? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. There's your bread. And we'll put the tunic here. It looks like we've pleased all of the shoppers today. Oh, no, this guy wants wood. Sorry, my dudes, nothing that you want at the shop. You have to go home. Use the counter to order and receive a delivery. Wait, whoa, what? Oh, oh, wait. This is pretty expensive. We'll buy one of each. Okay, order that. When is that going to arrive? That way we keep everybody happy. Who's this guy? Oh, he's got the delivery. Oh, perfect. So put the linen down. So you can actually order stuff as people come in and react to it in that way. Smart. Right, to so the end of another day, and now I should have enough to buy a crafting station. And we're going to get a tailoring one. And we're going to... Whoa, this is a big boy. This is a very big boy. I think I'm going to have to purchase some more space. Purchase some space. Or just move things around. Tailoring station. So where's this going to go? Boom. And now we've got some more cash to splash. So let's put another table down. But a bit, bit of a big table. We'll put it there. That's fine. That's fine. And is there anything I can order? No, everything's a bit expensive. A bit on the expensive side. So, we're going to open the shop and see if we can get some trade done. Here's Lysa. Lysa wants bread. So we'll buy some bread. We'll buy one of everything, actually. Well, yeah. Okay, stock's arrived. Bread's going out. Boom. This guy wants some more bread as well, but sorry, dude. I haven't got any for sale. Got some grain, though. Just some grain. It's the good stuff. The best. The best stuff. And we're making cash again. That's pretty good. Oh, but taxes are going up as well. In two days, I have to pay 60 silver. Oof. That ain't easy. So how does a crafting station work? It's the end of day nine. Craft options. So I need to use one. If I pick this up, I can use this to make a tunic. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And then put it down. Okay, well, let's open for business. Is there anything I want to order first? Now, everything's a bit expensive when you order it from the uh, from the counter. Hey, it's Simon. What do you want, my friend? He wants shoes. What are you selling? Oh, he's selling shoes. Let's get a couple of pairs of those. And we're going to get four of everything, I reckon. Or not. There we go. Whoa, I've got loads of cash, though. Okay, shoes. Get your shoes. This guy wants a bowl of cloth. There you go. Cornelis. What are you looking for, my friend? Hammers. Yeah, I've got a hammer. Oh, I think this is going to be the first day where everybody that comes into the shop is super happy. Oh, you want a hammer? I've got what you need, buddy. Boom, wow. Rolling in cash now. But these large tables, not the one. Definitely not. Okay, so we paid our taxes. So let's decorate a bit more now. Because we're on the way.
We can put a basket down, I suppose. Probably over here is a good spot. So we've raised the shop appeal now to three. Next tax is 72 silver. And I've got to sell 50 items and the value of my store has to exceed 1500. So we can actually make the place a bit bigger. So we're going to build out this way, I think. Yep. Perfect. Now we can move the, the station over here. We'll just park you in the corner. And I want to get this table a bit more central. So we're going to put you over here. Will you fit in the corner? Perfect. Okay, I haven't got much cash, but let's open for the next day. See what happens. Lots of axes, lots of bread. But that's a high value stock, the axe. Okay. She wants grain now, so we can buy. Not enough cash, but that's fine. Can I make shoes? No. For shoes, you need two bolts of cloth. All right. What's this guy want? He's got his bread. He's got his axe. Hammers. Haven't got any hammers, I'm afraid. Got some shoes, though. Got some shoes. Bit of shoes. Go on, get out of here. That's right. Don't come back, scumbag. Not happy with your shopping experience? How dare you! So, so far, so, so good. It's day 13. Unlucky for some, hopefully not for me. What can I afford to buy? I've got 145 coins. I could make the shop bigger, but I don't want to yet. Not really. The total value of your store exceeds 1,500 silver. So we could get closer to that if we buy some decoration, maybe. I like these tulip bouquets. They look pretty cool. Put one in the corner behind the uh, bench over here. Will that fit? No, not quite. What about over here? Oh, perfect. Appeal 4, nice. And we'll save the rest of our cash to buy some stock. Can I help you, Emma? Yes, she wants bread. Ah, the tradesman's arrived. Right, so we want lots of linen so we can start making shoes and tunics. And woods, okay, we'll have a couple of those. An axe, maybe. And just lots lots more linen, really. Bye. Excellent. So she wants a tunic. Coming right up. There you go. Oh, wait, she still wants a tunic. Someone else pinched her tunic. Ooh. Come on. There you go. Some wood. This guy wants some shoes. Shoes going down. This guy wants a bolt of cloth. I can help you with that. Another tunic. Coming right up. Oh, we've kept everybody happy today. That's been amazing. And made quite a bit of coin. So how can I up the value of my store? Let's see if there's anything cool I can buy or unlock. A large old cupboard used for displaying items. Six slots. Holy smokes. Let's get one of those. Also, we can put down a barrel. A small rug. Oh, rugs are sweet. So we'll put the rug at the entrance. Perfect. And the large old cupboard is 280 coins. Wow. What about another rug? Actually, I want to save some money for some... Uh... Whoa, okay. That happened. Right, there we go. So we'll put a little rug in front of the, uh, the counter. And I reckon we're good to open for the next day. Let's get some stock out. Hope you like bread and axes. Yeah, so far so good. So the quests are still to the total value of your store exceed 1,500. Survive three random events. What are they? Place displays with 20 item spots in total. So we want to be able to afford that, that big cupboard. Let's keep going. Keep uh, missioning through. Oh, lots of cash on the floor. Why do people keep throwing their change on the floor? What's wrong with these people? The counter's right here. So disrespectful. 
I think I can afford, though, a cupboard now. But I need to buy some stock tomorrow, so I'm not going to do that yet. Alright, time to close up shop. Whoa, I got a bounty for doing, doing a task. Oh, because my shop value exceeded 1,500. So now I can definitely afford to put down a big old cupboard. Oh, look at that. Look at all those slots. Ooh, adorned counter. Traders will offer you unique items here. So we want a planter because we've got loads of grain. And... Yeah, that seems good. So we'll buy one of those, a planter. And we'll put it in the corner. There. We're also going to spend some money on some more storage. Buying a pallet. There we go. And that's open for the next day. We're also going to make some bread. Boom. Four days? What? Holy smokes. Can I put the planters outside? It probably makes a bit more sense. Okay, Trader Joe has arrived. So let's see. Uh, we want linen. Yes. Wood. Yes. Hammers. Yes. Excellent. Let's lay some of these out. Who wants bread? I haven't got any bread! A hammer. Easy. This guy wants some seeds. Perfect. Some grain. Wood. I think I have some wood. Yeah, loads. Loads of wood. Easy. Pleasure doing business, my friends. Right, so can we put this planter outside? Weeding. Yes, you can. Okay, we're going to put it all along the back wall here. And we could probably buy a few more of those. Yeah, put another one over here. Wow, I haven't got much cash now. And we'll plant another potato. Okay, let's do it. It's free real estate. Some cash, nice. More cash. Now we've got some cash to splash. We'll wait until this guy's almost done so that we can sell some goods, get some more cash to uh, spend on goods. Okay, here we go. Right, so someone wants grain. Artichoke seeds, that sounds pretty cool. Potatoes, we'll take one of those. An axe. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks good to me. Another wood. Okay, let's get this down. So grain. Check. Axe. Check. Put some stuff over here at the back. Lots of wood. A potato. And we'll keep the bolts of cloth because we can make shoes and tunics on the fly. Oh, Nice is not happy. And he's gonna be he's gonna go home again, not very happy today. Unfortunately, Nice, I'm sorry. Just the way the cookie crumbles, I'm afraid. Yep, that's it. Two leaded left. But tomorrow I can buy a lot more stock. So I'm good. I'm good. So we're not really playing this properly because we're not buying low and selling high. We're just basically buying whatever they come in with. Okay, so we're gonna buy buy low and try and sell high. So everything that's green we're gonna go for, but also bread's pretty cheap and we need it a lot, so. Five axes, sounds good to me. And a, as much bread as we can afford after that. Buy it. Okay, let's get these axes on show. Wow, that guy bought two axes. What a, what a beast. Sorry, my dudes, no more stock. Fresh out. But I am actually quite rich now. Because I sold, managed to sell almost all those axes. That was crazy. Okay, so the end of another day. The tax now is 103 silver. I'm making a lot more money though. Yeah, rolling in cash. So can we harvest these artichokes yet? No. I wish I hadn't bought all these seeds. They're a big waste of time. Another day, another dollar. It's Simon. What up, Cybro? Well, he bought two hammers. I love him. I love a guy that buys two hammers. So dresses are pretty expensive, and we got enough cloth to make loads of them, so... Oh, potatoes, though. Look at that. T 
10 potatoes, yes please. Mm, mm, do we want to buy a dress and a tunic? Yeah, just in case. And let's just stock up on potatoes, they're so cheap. And we'll fill this back row with potatoes. Love me a bit of potato action. And this shelf with loads more stuff. I think people generally come in and buy what you have on sale. Oh, some shoes. Shoe request. And a dress request. Dress to impress. Shoes. Dress. Haven't got any grain to save these guys, but that's fine. Holy crap, we're almost all out of potatoes. They call me the Potato King. So do I want to expand my shop? Value of my store, 4,000. Place items with 20 slots in total. Yeah, let's see if we can do that. So we're going to buy another large old cupboard. I think we can fit one in here. If we move things around a bit. Just enough space. Yeah! So we need a few more spots to get this, this task done. Um, we'll wait, I think, because we want some cash to buy stuff. Oh, I haven't been doing my crops. There we go. This guy wants cheese. Cheese. Do you sell any cheese? Artichokes. Oh, look at that. So cheap. Some artichokes on the go. Got loads of potatoes. Maybe some grain, although the return on grain isn't so good. Let's get some linen. Oh, okay. So artichokes all over this bench. This is going to make us loads of cash. No cheese, I'm afraid. No hammers. on the floor. Oh yeah, people are buying the artichokes. Easy money. Okay, so we've got a clothes order. What's that? A, a tunic? There you go. Haven't got enough linen to make shoes. That's fine. So we made a lot of cash today. Sold almost all our artichokes. See you chaps tomorrow. Okay, so we've got a pretty sweet looking shop now. We've got three big cupboards. It's day 26. We're looking in a good spot to pay our taxes. We're making cash. So we could expand this out super big. And uh, at the moment, I'm not sure what else there is in the game to unlock. Now this is a very early access game. So there's lots of the game that hasn't been put in yet. But so far, so good. It's a pretty simple concept, but done pretty well. So it's kind of fun. It's a bit runescape-y. Uh, so check it out on Steam. Uh, and of course, if you want to see more indie games, hit subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon for some more of that. Until then, take care.